renowned the world over for its futuristic architecture and lavish lifestyle, Dubai is now intent on being recognized also for the reach and depth of its international financial center. It is already the Middle East key hub and its financial free zone, the DIFC, has attracted much foreign capital since its creation over a decade ago. But there is more. Dubai now wants to increase its relevance to financial services firms and their clients in Africa and South Asia. It is well connected and well located, so these are certainly two factors that play in its favour. But what about regulation or human capital and all the other elements that determine the success of a truly international financial centre? And how can it differentiate itself from other equally ambitious hubs? I am Silvia Pavoni, Economics Editor of The Banker, and I'm here in Dubai to find out. With over 1,500 international firms that have chosen it as a regional base, the DIFC has contributed to the overall growth of Dubai's financial sector, building on the Emirates' state-of-the-art infrastructure and on its long experience as a focal point for trade. But what about the future? I want to ask the DIFC Authority's Chief Executive, Arif Amiri, about the Free Zone's expansion strategy and what measures it is taking to keep up with regional and international trends. In 2004, we've established the IFC, and it was really predominantly the vision of His Highness to really further grow or further take forward the, uh, the story of Dubai. As you know, Dubai has always been known to be a trade hub, a logistic hub, and a tourism hub. And the one missing element that was there was you know, creating a financial offering within the city of Dubai that caters towards the wider region. So that's where our inspiration came from. So we started humbly with maybe eight firms in the first year that we were actually operating. Today we stand over 1,500 firms and really they represent global firms from all around the world, whether it's from the Middle East, Africa, Asia, the US or Europe as well. So it's been a successful story of growth. You know, I mean, despite everything that you see around us in the global economy, we've been seeing staggering and solid numbers. So the DFC represents, um, and the financial sector as a whole, represents a key point in, in Dubai's development. As you said, it offers uh, a way of diversifying the economy. Now, right. I believe, uh, represents 12% of GDP, the right. financial services sector. And the forecasts are that by 2024, if I'm correct, it may go up to 18%. So obviously, the financial services sector is important to Dubai. And the DFC is important to the region, to the Middle East. Uh, but also now to Africa and South Asia. And I know that you um, are really working hard to try and make uh, its presence and relevance to those other regions even stronger. Absolutely. Um, I think uh, in the middle of last year, we announced our 2024 strategy, which really talks about many pillars. One of them is actually the key growth markets that we'll actually be focusing on. When I talk about growth markets, I mean entities that we see come from, uh, new entities coming from specific markets, whether it's going to be uh, what we call today the South-South Corridor. And if you look at that portfolio today, the growth portfolio we've been having 2015, which was a record-breaking year for us. In 2016, we've seen that that region, we just spoke about countries about 55 to 60% of new entrants in the DIFC to take potential of what we see here on the market and in the wider region. However, we've also seen uh, entities from the Western Hemisphere that actually come here and establish themselves, as well as further upgrade the level of business they're doing here. For example, when we disclosed our strategy in, in uh, 2015, the banking assets that are actually outside, out, out of the DIFC were about 65 billion. Today we're in the region of 150 mm -hmm. billion, which really says that we're going the right path and the right way forward to contribute to the greater vision of contributing about 18% to the GDP of Dubai. So these are banking assets based here, in the DIFC. located at the DFC, which That's is right. it's, it's, uh, it's a very good and encouraging figure. Um, you. you mentioned the South, South Corridor. Mm -hmm. um, how uh, do you see the DFC taking really its place, the place that you would like it to have as um, a hub where, to, where trades um, is Absolutely. trade deals are closed, both of finance deals are closed. I can give you a few examples. I mean, uh, you know, in the past couple of years, uh, we all heard about the China ambition of creating the One Belt, One Road initiative. And we've seen the IFC play a significant role in that, especially Dubai as well. And if, uh, if I can explain it, it will actually, if we look at the financial institutions that come out of China that are actually based here, they more than double the balance sheet size of their entities established here in the DIFC, which talks about the investment flow, the trade flow that's actually happening to the DIFC. So when we talk about connectivity with South-South Corridor, especially the Chinese One Belt, One Road initiative that marries really well into that, you can see it taking shape here 
actively. And uh, how would you like the DFC to grow in the future? Already uh, it offers a very uh, beneficial uh, environment for firms located here, so an independent regulator, uh, an independent judicial system, uh, no taxation, uh, no uh, limits on the repatriation of capitals. Um, how does this uh, compare with other financial centres that perhaps are also trying to uh, raise their game? Of course, you know, the DIFC has about 12 years of record behind it, right? So we, we have a track record and we had growth and we, had, we have an offering that has been tested, whether it's our court system, whether it's the regulator that has over 90 bilateral agreements around the globe, really, which really resembles the network, the strong network that we actually have globally here. And we, we've seen the level of interest only grow stronger and stronger. So, like I said, if you look at the 2015 numbers, we were record-breaking year for us. We're beating these numbers again in 2016. This talks about the real substantial offering that we have at the IFC. So, we see our trajectory to remain the same. Of course, we have to invest in our soft infrastructure, so the laws and regulation, which hopefully you'll see a bit of uh, new additions coming out uh, and some amendments towards the end of the year. Plus, we're going to work on our hard infrastructure, which you see just next to me right here which will complete the proposition. So the Gate Avenue, for example, mm -hmm. is going to provide that connectivity, that lifestyle. So it makes everybody who stays at the IC a bit more happier, having a better experience, and, and uh, you know, complete the offering we actually have. But of course, when you look at the financial element of things, you know, we have the Banking Capital Markets Division, we have the Asset and Wealth Management, and the Insurance Reinsurance. So these will be specific pillars that we can continue with amongst new initiatives, such as the FinTech proposition out of the IFC, which already exists, but we're building upon, amongst things like, you know, um, peer funding, so, you know, a crowdfunding is what, uh, is what we could consider to come along as well. How would you like, where would you like the DFC uh, to be in five years? Well, I think we're on the right trajectory and the right, uh, we're heading in the right direction. I mean, you know, we hope to be there in the top five financial centers in the world, and we need to really solidify our offering a bit further, you know, uh, engage the wider community a bit better, and, uh, you know, continue the right trajectory we've actually announced. So if we've hit the numbers we're actually working towards in our 2024 strategy, we should be there. Very well. Thank you very much for your comments. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you so much.